Now, I did a video a while back on Noctua and kind of teaming up with Azus, and they've put out a Azus RTX 5080 OC edition, a brownish video card, this one right here, and it cools extremely well. It's $500 US over the MSRP of a plain Jane RTX 5080, but boy, if you are building a brown theme computer system, you're going to love this, and now you're going to love this. This is Noctua's first AIO liquid cooler. Now, myself personally, I have been using liquid cooling for a very long time, and I'm an advocate for liquid cooling, especially if you are thinking about overclocking your CPU, and if you want it to remain cool, but you don't want fans ramping up all the time. Some people will disagree and say AIOs, you know, AIO liquid coolers will eventually fail. That's true, they will, but fans, typical fans will fail as well. And the heat sinks will never fail. But by the time in, in most cases, by the time an AIO, a good AIO liquid cooler fails, it's usually five plus or almost 10 years. These things last for a very, very long time. So by that time, yeah, you, you've probably upgraded. Now remember, if you like this type of content, I produce five videos a week, and you can throw me a thanks, and it's completely free, by doing everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. Okay, so the specs on this, I guess take them with a grain of salt because this is not finished yet. So it could change. It could change. Right now, they're not going with any kind of in house solution when it comes to the pump. They're going to be using Aztec's flagship G8 V2 pump. And it's going to have some kind of three layer sound dampening system. The fans that they're going to use undoubtedly will be very, very quiet. Noctua fans are usually very quiet, very efficient. And there's three different options for now. A 240, a 360, and a 420 millimeter option. That's the size of the radiators. And uh, the fans are actually, I guess it varies. The 140 millimeter will be the NFA14 uh, 25, and the 120 millimeter fans that they would have, and I guess that would be on maybe the 240, would be the NFA1225 uh, G2 fans. Now, again, this could change, right? So it, it's, it's, it's what they're kind of alluding to at this particular point. The pricing is going to be maybe steep. Noctua products are usually a little bit more expensive. There's been some rumors, some, you know, murmurs of... Three hundred dollars US being thrown around is that for is that for the four hundred and twenty millimeter? I don't know, or is it for maybe you know the two hundred and forty millimeter? But yeah, I mean, not my thing. The colors not not for me. But if you like this sandy brown color, yeah, you're gonna be all over this.